Welcome to Old Santee Canal Park, the site of America's first true canal, built from 1793 to 1800. There are many ways for you to experience this beautiful and historic park. Walking trails, canoe rentals, museums, picnic shelters, and self-guided tours are just a few ways to get up close and personal with both history and nature. The Interpretive Center is the large brick building which houses exhibits on the construction of the Santee Canal, Little David, archaeology, as well as live animals in the living loft. At just over 11,000 square feet, it also includes a historical and nature theater, a gift shop, and access to the boardwalks. Restrooms are located by the archaeology exhibit. This building is a great place to begin your adventure at Old Santee Canal Park. The plantation house on the hill is known as the Stony Landing House, a simple and modest design compared to other houses built along the Cooper River. It was built around 1843 by Charleston merchant John Dawson and named for the outcropping of Cooper Marl limestone found beneath the soil. This house faces the old Congaree Road, which was once a trading path used by American Indians to travel to the upcountry and beyond. During the Civil War, the house was owned by Dr. St. Julian Ravenel, who allowed the Little David, a semi-submersible torpedo boat, to be built in secrecy on the plantation. On the night of October 5, 1863, the Little David exploded its torpedo on the USS New Ironsides, damaging the vessel blockading Charleston Harbor. This marked the first successful torpedo boat attack in the history of naval warfare. Ravenel also gave up his medical practice to study botany and chemistry. This led to the earliest forms of limestone application in building materials. Head outside to the boardwalk to really experience the natural beauty of the swamp. Maybe catch a glimpse of an alligator basking in the sun or watch an egret gracefully take flight. The park has four miles of hiking trails, including boardwalk, gravel paths, and dirt. Along the trails, you may have many opportunities for wildlife sightings, including ospreys, turtles, snakes, salamanders, prothonotary warblers, and wading birds. The trails have other interesting stops along the way, including the Live Oak Amphitheater, Limestone Bluff, Colleton Lime Works Kiln, Bird Blind, and Observation Points. A free self-guided walking tour is available at the gift shop to help you navigate. Or you may choose to experience the canal by water as it was originally intended. Two and three seat canoes are available for rent at the gift shop. We provide the life jackets, paddles, guidebook and canoe. There are platforms to stop, stretch your legs and maybe have a picnic. After you've experienced the canal in this unique way, please return your canoe back to the dock and life jackets and paddles back to the gift shop. The Berkeley Museum is also located on the park grounds and houses over 12,000 years of low country cultural and natural history. For your convenience, two picnic shelters are available. These shelters are on a first come, first served and less rented. Restrooms and a small playground are located in the children's garden by the Little David Shelter. While the Stony Shelter can accommodate larger groups and offers a quiet place under the shade of live oaks. Please remember that we are a trash-free park and what you bring in, you should also take out. Please follow all park rules Observe the wildlife from a safe distance and stay on the trails at all times. Dogs are welcome but must remain on a leash. Please see the gift shop or any park staff if you have any questions or need assistance. Take your time and enjoy your visit to this beautiful and historical location.